All right, laptop rebuild. This is where we hope these parts work. I know this should work. All right, so we what do we have here? We have ourselves a laptop screen. We have ourselves an LCD cover. And here, we have ourselves a damaged laptop. So I was hoping that when this came in, these metal brackets were gonna be included with the screen. They were not. So what we have here is you can kind of see, looking at it, you can see our whoosh, crack. You can see our where the damage actually took place. This is where I hope this is the right one. It looks like it is. So here's what we're gonna be doing today. We're going to be removing the screen. Done! Um, we're actually going to be removing the LCD housing, or the, which is the, called the LCD cover. Got to remove all the additional wires, get those transferred over to this. We got to get the camera transferred over. And uh, we got to get whatever the heck this is transferred over, because I'm not sure what that actually is down there. I know, I'm, I'm fast. All right, so let's start with this. I'm just going to... I have, like I said, I have no idea what this actually is. Or what plugs into this. But, regardless, goes right there. Oh, this cable plugs into it. It's got to be some sort of detection to see if the screen is closed. All right, now we're going to be very gentle. We're going to remove this cable without damaging this connector, because ordering these cameras are actually quite a pain. The adhesive on the back of this stuff is good adhesive. All right, that cable's disconnected. Next, Wi-Fi cables. Just gotta be very careful, we don't wanna tear this. There's your Wi-Fi cable. Now, looking at this, as we're taking this apart, what we can see is right here, this goes under this flap. So, what I will do on this is, we'll just lift that up. And I know it goes underneath there. Hey, this, the black one also goes underneath here. And it goes underneath here. And it goes underneath here. Basically, we're gonna just flip over all these flaps. It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's... That, 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 that. Actually, quite nice. Last part of the Wi Fi, and Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. And we'll try and transfer this up. Over. All right, and then we're gonna have six screws. And this is actually the difficult part. I'm gonna try and remove this the opposite way. That I normally would. I don't like. Oh, this is getting dangerous territory here. Make sure we don't. You see how much his board wants to bend? Try not to bend it at all. We don't put a crack in that board. All right. Now. Six Phillips head screws. One. Two. That's a tight little fit. I'm gonna go with a nice shallow depth driver here. The 
this thing, like, this is not designed to come off the way that I'm taking it off. The way that this is designed to go is this gets put together outside of the case and then gets attached via the hinges on the bottom. So I can get this one. Yeah, oh okay. yeah. Those are the those are the hard guys. The rest of these should come out relatively easy. And last one. There we go. <clears throat> The replacement popped on. Very difficult to get this tightened in there. Oh, I really don't want to have to take this thing off to do this, but I might have to. Alright, got it in. Only mostly aggravating. Alright, next, we will gently reattach this. Alright, Wi-Fi cable. This is fun. Alright, and we just got to line that up there. Make sure this cable is nice and tight. This cable, we're going to do the same thing. We get this positioned in. Make sure it's nice and snug. We use my little spudger here. To make sure this plastic is nice and down. Okay, that all squished back into place. That squished back into place. off this goes to again whatever this little cable is down here let me pull this off to get this plugged in I don't know which way this thing actually goes I think it's like this there's a little hook that it goes under and then this goes to the screen speaking of the screen we got to perform surgery on the screen before we dive too much further, we need to make sure we are good to go. Come on. This problem with gloves is adhesive loves sticking to gloves because there's not like a layer of oil protecting it. There we go, that's in. That's down. That's over. Gloves back on here in a second. The battery might be a little bit dead on this. And there we go. Alright, so before we button this thing all the way back up, we need to remove these. I don't actually think it's necessary if I just put a little bit of adhesive on this. I don't have to do any massive pulling. That's good. So it's very difficult to put on adhesive while wearing gloves. And if this ends up being too thick, we'll have a problem. And this stuff is like paper thin. I do need to cut this a little bit. All we have to do is remove this outside screw again on each side. So that's still on there. And this has to slide up. This has to slide up. Slides into that little crevasse. Stir it down. Stir it down and then goes up. And it's lined up. I think this, I think my adhesive might be a little bit too thick. Oh, 
All right. There we go. Last little bit. I'll get this clicked back on. Go all the way around, start at the top. Alright, and that's it. That is this screen replacement all buttoned up. Just have one little thing to click in down here, just along the bottom, not touching the screen with this, just touching that bezel. And then final peel. And then boom. Good as new. And still got our little perfect. All right, let's call and get him out of here. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.